Today we're out on the AEDC wildlife management area. And what we're doing, we're putting out a, a pollinator plot. This pollinator plot is, is designed to put more flowering plants out here to increase the pollinator population. Uh, pollinators being bees, wasps, yellow jackets, whatever pollinates one flower to another. This pollinator seed is really small, light, fluffy, different sized seed. We were able to do this and get the seed through a grant from U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. Uh, they put together a proposal, the ADC folks did, uh, put together a proposal to the uh, U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, and we were able to get a grant to secure money for the seed. The seed is, is not cheap, but uh, it is very productive uh, for producing great habitat. Because there's so many different varieties of plant, uh, flowering plants in, in the mix, it's hard to go out and just drill it in like normal seed. So we came out today on a, on a cold morning and uh, we're doing a freeze thaw planting. The ground was frozen last night and when it starts thawing out, everything kind of spews up and then uh, hopefully it's supposed to rain the next day or two and it'll put that seed in the ground without putting it too far in the ground. One of the things that, that I'm interested in doing is, is promoting good quality habitat outside of just our normal constituents. Trying to promote quality habitat interest outside of just the regular hunters and fishermen that we have. Bees pollinate everything, um, from the local gardens to our row crops. Bees pollinating provide food in the grocery store for us. So um, we're, we're promoting this, not just doing it here, but you know, hopefully this, this public message will reach a lot of folks. Our focus here today is, is pollinators, but putting the forbs and the flowers back into the environment. Uh, all these are native species. You know, we've got butterfly milkweed, a partridge pea, coneflower, black-eyed Susan, and a lot of goldenrods. So we're, we're putting native seed back on the landscape so putting those back into the environment, it's gonna create good quality habitat for everything. Uh, this pollinator plot will be excellent quail habitat, excellent rabbit habitat. There'll be a lot of deer browse, a lot of, a lot of opportunity for turkey nesting. So we're, we're doing a pollinator plot, but it's not just good for, for bees, it's good for everything.